Hey everybody, this is Aaron Whitehead. Welcome to Learn to Play the Piano. This is lesson number 29 in a series of short lessons. In this video, we'll figure out how to know what key a song is in based off of what notes are in the melody. The first thing you need to know in order to be able to do this is how many sharps or flats there are in each major scale. Here is a chart that shows the number of sharps and flats in each major scale. You may want to pause the video here and study this chart. There are a total of 12 major scales, and it's not a bad idea to memorize the notes of each major scale. If you're comfortable with the notes of each major scale, in order to be able to determine what key a song is in from the melody, you're going to look at two things. First, how many sharps and flats does the melody have in it? And second, what note does the melody end on? Keep in mind that these two things are just guidelines, and so it won't work for every melody you hear, but most of the songs you hear, you'll be able to determine the key using these two rules. Okay, so I'm going to play a song in the key of C, and as I play, each note's going to stay so you can see the notes that I've played throughout the melody. Remember, the key of C has no sharps or flats, and so pay attention to how, as the song develops, we see it using only white notes. So you can see that this song used all white notes from G to F. There are no sharps and flats, and the song ended on the note C. So using the guidelines of how many sharps or flats are in the song and what note the song ended on, we can tell that this song is in the key of C. Now I'm going to play the same song again, but move it to a different key. This time I'll play it in the key of D, which has two sharps. Notice how the notes that I play change to accommodate the new scale. Okay, let's look at this one more time in a different way. This time I'm going to play a song in a new key, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. Try and figure out what scale I'm playing as the notes appear throughout the melody. What key do you think this song is in? If you said the key of G, then you are correct. Notice that it has one sharp, and the melody ended on the note G. I hope this lesson has been helpful for you. If any of this information has been, you might also enjoy our book, A Piano Chord Book You Can Actually Use, which can be purchased on our website, thepianochordbook.com, or any of these online retailers. You also might want to check out our app, which is available on iTunes or Google Play. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel so that you get updates every time we upload a new lesson. And for the next lesson, we're going to look at how to determine what scale a song is in based off of the chords used in the song. Thanks for watching. God bless and see you next time.